Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome to another Python tutorial video. My name is Jay. In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to write a Python script to download a file from the web. So I'll be using Office template website for a demonstration. So if you go to templates.office.com and from this website, you can download a variety of Microsoft Office template files. So for example, you can download uh, resume and cover letter templates, calendar, flyers, uh, planner and trackers, and so on. And I'm going to uh, use one of the, the files for demonstration. So let's use resumes and cover letters. So let's say I want to write a Python program uh, to download, let's download this resume. And the first step is to want to grab the download link. So I'm going to hover my mouse to the download button and right click. And I'll copy the link address. And I'm going to paste this link to my Python script. And I'll save this link to a variable. So I'm going to call this variable uh, download URL. And I'll be using the requests library to perform the file downloading uh, task. And for some of you, you may need to install the requests library. So you can just type pip install requests. Now we have the download link and we can uh, now make an API call. So to make an API call, I'm going to use the requests library dot get and we'll pass the URL. And should, this should be download URL. Now if I simply just run these three lines individually, Actually, let me move the panel to the right. And here from the request object, we can print the headers. So from the header, we have the content length. Uh, that's the, the file size, the content type, and uh, the template uh, type. I'm not, I'm not exactly sure what the content MD5 is, but the last modified dates and create dates and so on, which is uh, pretty useful if you need to grab some of the metadata without needing to download the file. And from the request object, and if I just reference the, uh, since the, the URL um, methods, and that gives you the link that you use to download the file. So we need the file name. The file name is the last uh, item from my URL. And to extract the file name, so I need to do some slicing. But first I need to locate the last four slash. So it's the right font method. And I'll search for the uh, forward slash. And I'll store the output to a variable called file name. And here, uh, so this will give us the, the index position of the string position uh, of the last four slash. And here, if we just uh, reference the URL attribute, we can basically just slice uh, everything from this point from the letter T to the last string. And so here, this will be plus one and one to slice all the way to the last uh, character. And now if I print file name, and that will give us the, the file name. All right, now I have the request object and the file name. We can now go ahead and start download the file. And here I'm going to say uh, we open file name and so we're going to write binary. And just in case if the file size is super is large, like uh, 400 megabyte, 800 megabyte, or maybe a couple gigabyte of file size, and want to download the file in chunk. So what I can do is I can say for chunk in uh, request that array content. I'm going to specify my chunk size. I'll set that to 1892. And here I'm going to insert if condition. If chunk is not empty, then I want to write the chunk to my file. And that's it. Now, if I go to my folder, I should make that a little bit bigger. 
And now if I go back to my Python script and basically just pass F5 to run the, uh, the script. And that's done. Now if I go back to my folder and here's the, the word template. Now if I double click and here's the, the template file. Now I want to convert this script to a, to a function so I can reuse this, uh, this script uh, later on if I need to download uh, any files from the web. So here I'm going to create a new function and I'm going to name this function download file. And we're going to have a parameter called URL and the other parameter, let's call this uh, file name. So in case if you want to rename the file, then we want to have the option to do so. And here I want to insert if condition to verify the file name. So if file name uh, is not blank, then we know uh, the file name has at least some string in it. Otherwise, we want to extract the file name from the link. Now we can make a request call. So request is dot get URL. That's REQ. And we open file name. And we want to write as binary. And here is for chunk. So from this point, I can just copy this uh, statement right here. and return file name. And that's it. Oh, just in case, well, I want to ins uh, insert try uh, and accept block to capture any error. Oops, accept. Right, and that's it. Now let me just um, execute this function. So I'll save this function in memory. Now if I go back to the office template uh, website, and this time let me choose a different file. So I'll go to calendars, and I'll choose the first calendar. And I'll grab the download link. And here I'm going to code a function. So download file. And I'll pass the download URL. Download link. And this time I'm going to rename the file. So I'll name this file to something more meaningful. Uh, calendar template.dotm. And that's the file extension type. Now if I just run uh, line 33, and download links not defined. Oh, here we go. Now if I rerun the, the function, and that returns the, the file the file name. And now if we go back to our folder, and here's our calendar template. Now let me make sure that the file is not correct. And here's the, the Word document. So it's a macro template file. That means if I go to Visual Studio uh, window, and inside this file, there, there are some macros written uh, into this file and to enhance the, the functionality. But that's everything I'm going to cover in this lesson. And hopefully you guys found the video useful. As always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video.